Hello and welcome to another DC vs. Online video. Today I want to go over a list of things that I found that were uh, that were being worked on but were never added. Some content I'm sure some of us would wish we got to see completed. Let's get started. Number one, Batman vs. Superman Legends characters. Now, it seems back in 2016, they had plans to add new Legends characters based on the Batman v Superman movie and the Suicide Squad movie. There are screenshots of Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, and Harley Quinn placeholders as they were working on these. These plans were probably scrapped due to copyright issues as we saw with the Batman v Superman swag bags where Batman and Superman emblems were added to the game but were removed due to, I guess, a copyright breach of some sort. Number two, a new user interface. Back in 2014, the DCO YouTube channel posted a video presenting a new UI for the game. They said it was to be entirely see-through and easier to navigate specifically on um, PlayStation, but nothing ever came of it. Now, the video is still on the YouTube channel, although it is um, unlisted, so you have to find a link. Honestly, personally, I prefer the, the UI we have now by, you know, looking at it yourself. Which one do you prefer, the one we've got or this supposedly newer one from 2014? With number three on the list, we have characters who were never added to the game. First is Future Joker, who we see in the game's cinematic cutscene. Now, the character's only known appearance in the game was during the final days of the beta testing back in 2010, you know, before the game's official release. It was controlled by Jim Lee for, uh, I guess, a big PvP event they were having to say goodbye to all the beta testers. Some other characters who were modeled but never added was um, the Mad Hatter, was a finished 3D model and loading screen. Now, his hat was added to the game recently, so, you know, we may not have him, but we've got something of his, I guess. There's also Amanda Waller. There's one of none, Zod's right-hand man in the game. There's also a new Dr. Savannah model, which has not been added yet. However, Dr. Savannah is in the game and Dr. Sterling Rockettes, who you may recognize if you're a Young Justice fan from the episode where we meet um, Artemis for the first time. There was also quite a few characters who had finished models from the beginning of the game, but weren't added until years later, like uh, Captain Atom, Black Alice, Plastic Man, and Metamorpho. These characters were modeled years and years ago, but weren't added until uh, very recent years. And number four on the list, there's also a few characters who seem to have never left the uh, concept art stage, such as Mongol, who I personally would love to see, Despero, who again, I would love to see him, Arsenal, Green Arrow's sidekick, or does he not like being called that, and Hector Hammond, who was the main villain in the um, Green Lantern movie. And number five, there are also quite a few styles that appear in promotional images, but were never added to the game. Like this mask that looks a lot like Deathstroke's mask, this checkered outfit, Brainiac slimline, a slimline with shoulder pads, even Heatwave's backpack, or at least classic Heatwave's backpack. He doesn't look like that anymore. Even the game's official cover, release cover, has a picture of a character wearing a costume that is nowhere to be found. We also had a picture of um, Orion with his harness on, which again makes no appearances in the game. There are also some variations of styles we have in a game that we have never seen, such as Fort World, which has like two alternate styles. There's also a Shield of Robots, has some different variations, Demonic Style, and Gadgeteer. Now there's a lot more of this type of stuff in the game's old trailers. That's a video for a different day. Which of these things would you really have wanted to see added? For me personally, I want the BVS Legends, the Deathstroke Mask, and um, Orion's Harness would be cool. To somehow get for the players as a, um, a skimming movement mode style, that'd be, that'd be extraordinary, honestly. Yeah, that's all I have to say. Which would you like to see? Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Bye.